and we're back and here's another five of the utterly worst television shows as chosen by you guys Huge, isn't it? Oh, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Brighton, Brighton, Br- oh, Britain, Britain. Little Britain. So, uh, how do you say this? Istafel Gingori 8432, no, 23, sorry, says. I'm surprised that there's no mention of Little Britain, the Mighty Boosh and the League of Gentlemen all had to be removed from streaming services following complaints about the racist content and they weren't funny either. I'm going to take Little Britain from that list and I agree 100% with this comment. Uh, Little Britain is garbage. It was a comedy series, supposedly, which originated as a radio show, actually, in 2000, before transitioning to television from 2003 to 2006. It was co-written and performed by David Walliams and Matt Lucas. The programme comprises a collection of sketches featuring exaggerated parodies of diverse British personas. Each sketch is prefaced by a voice-over narration by Tom Baker, framing the show as a guide to British society tailored for non-British audiences. Our final choice, red. Red? Yeah. I don't like red. <laughs> Once I burn it, you can't have it back, you do know that. Yeah, I know. I want my stuff back. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dadway. No, no, you're not Ting Tong. I am Ting Tong. Clarence. So, 1630 Revel, Revel Oifey? It's got that Hartley Hare thing on his picture, I know that much. Says Bottle Boys, of which I have no memory at all, would actually have been worse with Jim Davidson, and what a waste of the great Don Henderson's talent. Sorry wasn't terrible at all, just dull. Ronnie Barker's Clarence was far worse, and don't get me started on Laura and Disorder. All lame ducks. Well, we've done Laura and Disorder once, so let's have a look at Ronnie Barker's Clarence. This was a 1988 BBC sitcom, with Ronnie Barker and Josephine Chewson. This marked Barker's final appearance in a sitcom before his retirement. In the series, he assumes the role of Clarence Sale, a visually impaired furniture remover. Everyone would think you were the only girl in the world with a broken engagement. And don't be emotional when there's a servant present. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Oh, I thought you meant a pub, see? Eh? <laughs> a public house, madam. I know what a pub is, thank you, Trevor. Because people hide, you know. They get dug in behind the curtains and under the sofas. <laughs> oh, I like the look of you. Oh. <laughs> I wish people wouldn't leave their slippers about. Harry Enfield's brand spanking new show. Alan Ellis, 6688, says, Harry Enfield's brand spanking new show on Sky One was awful, only lasted one season, and Enfield himself said he didn't give it his all. Yes, not much to say about this one is that it was a sketch show with Harry Enfield. I mean, what more is it to mention, apart from uh, armadillos? Armadillos! Don't have to sign the things up here. This is first class, you pleb. No, 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 no. I was just getting his autograph. That's JK out of Jamiroquai. I'm not a whipping. Think you're uh, talking yeah, about me yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're always stamping around on stage with your bloody thrash metal. <laughs> How dare you go away when I'm talking to you? Come back here, you badly trained baboon. Oh God, I got rid of him. Bloody pop star. If I'd fallen asleep, it would have buggered me. <laughs> I am not going to give you a short measure. Are you saying I'm short? <laughs> Come on, you lot, cheer up. 
Why the long faces? Why are you a bunch of horses? <laughs> Come here, I'll keep doing you! I'll keep doing you! Come here, I'll keep doing you! You wish. This is P V P E N E Puv Penny Puv Penny. Whoever you are, you said you wish on ABC is one of the worst things I've ever seen, and it seems like no one has ever heard of it. Dumb genie centric plot and brutally unfunny. In the pilot episode of this one, initially titled Genie, Gillian Apple and her two children Mickey Apple and Travis Apple visit a rug shop owned by Madman Mustafa, who was played by John Rhys Davis actually, and during their visit they purchase a rug that inadvertently releases a genie who has been trapped for 2,000 years. doing with a pack of cigarettes and it used to be cool yeah right up until the time they found out it'll kill you sorry i didn't know i've been rolled up in a rug <laughs> you think you'd learn to lock the door by now <laughs> you want to explain this i want to believe her she's my kid and i want to believe her but i can't just believe her because she's my kid Network. Meet Robert Randall, hard-working teacher. This sort of mission shouldn't be allowed. And learning the ropes. So, Ronald Wayne 7092 says, feel free to make an entire episode of Canadian sitcoms from the 1980s. Flappers, Snow Job, Check It Out, I think we've done Check It Out once before recently, Not My Department, and Learning the Ropes. So I've opted for Learning the Ropes here, because I can find clips of that one. Learning the Ropes is a Canadian sitcom that aired on CTV in Canada and in syndication in the United States from September 88 to March 89. The series stares Lyle Alzado as Robert Randall, a teacher who doubles as a professional wrestler in the evenings. Despite his children being aware of Randall's dual identity, the family is compelled to maintain secrecy about his wrestling persona at school. Noteworthy for its guest appearances by numerous wrestlers from the NWA, the sitcom was filmed in Toronto. Meet Robert Randall, hard-working teacher. This sort of mission shouldn't be allowed. This is professional wrestling. Dedicated vice principal. Oh, no. I think he's trying to hit the mass maniac. And devoted father, who moonlights as a professional wrestler. My father's an animal. This is my other job, and these are my friends. But you both got to keep this a secret. And there you go, there's five shocking, terrible, awful TV shows. Did I miss any out? You let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button, please. Just hit the thumbs up button. Smash the like button, as they say nowadays. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Share the video with your pals and all that good stuff. Bye for now. Bye for now.